it's so critical that you keep a positive mindset as an athlete because if you don't, it's not if, it's when you get injured, it's when adversity strikes, it's when you get knocked on your butt and it's all over Sports Center or whatever it is. You're going to hit hard, hard times and trials and you have to believe in yourself more than anybody and you have to keep a stronger mindset than anybody because if you believe in their narrative, that makes you weak. It's not even true. They just get a platform, they can say whatever they want and they can try to shape the, the minds of the masses that way, but none of that's true unless you believe it. You're letting them shape your narrative? Hell no, shape your own narrative. There is a piece of that. I remember when I got to the league, you hardly see it at all in high school. You see it a little bit in college, especially with the guys that end up going pro. And then when you go pro, you see it almost everywhere. And the people you don't see it in, they end up getting cut. And it's that mindset of, I don't care that this guy that plays my position on the team I got drafted to is an all pro and has been for five years. I'm going to find a way to beat him out. <laughs> it's crazy. But if you don't have that mindset, you're out, dude. You'll, you're only going to get to the place in life that you first conjure in your mind. So if you don't think you're going to be a starter, you don't think you're going to be an all pro, you don't think those things or think that way or believe it or somehow get yourself to believe it, it's not going to happen. You're not going to accidentally get there. And so somebody might ridicule you or call you crazy or, you know, but you're willing to face down that rejection of people saying you're an idiot. You'll never start. You, who do you think you are? This, that, and the other. Because that mindset, maybe you don't beat that guy out, but they said, this guy's balling. We can't just keep him as a backup. Let's throw him at Sam linebacker instead of Mike. You'll find your way in there. And it's only the people that are crazy enough to change the world that actually do. This up here is everything. That's what I want the athletes today to know. It's very, very easy to not manage your mental. And especially as an athlete to think everything's physical. I had the, the thought that what's a psych, you know, sports psychologist going to do for me? They're not going to help me get more sacks, more tackles for loss. They're not going to help me get drafted. I need to spend more time in the weight room, more time on the field, more time in the film room. That's what's going to get me there. But if you could do all that stuff and in your mind you think you're a POS and you're, in your mind you think, dude, I'm, I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to beat that guy. And you're, com you're comparing, you're looking at everybody else, you're disempowering yourself on the inside. All that muscle, all that ability, all that speed is not going to get you anywhere because you're not going to allow it to. You're just going to see the barriers and, and shrink. There's a bunch of little tidbits I have from my time in the league that it's like I'm right on the cusp of forgetting them. And I know they could be helpful, and I know I would have killed to know it when I was a kid. Even just some of the mindsets and the ways of thinking, nutrition, the diet, the, all that. I'm, I'm thinking I might start covering more of that 